what you're ready for this man hey guys welcome to another episode of big vapors and in this episode we're going to be talking about how to pimp out your ego so egos are probably the most popular personal vaporizer out there on the market. Um, it's typically the the next step up from one of those standard uh, 510 pen style e-cigs. So the ones that look like an actual cigarette. Uh, most people use those when they're quitting and those who really get into vaping or want to take the next vaping step usually end up going to egos. And even those of us who really enjoy vaping and also own a few mods typically also have egos too. They're just really, really great devices. Um, they're powerful. They come in various different battery sizes, 650, 900, 1100, etc. Um, they charge well. They're easy to use if USB chargers or they plug in. There's tons of accessories. They're portable. They're easy to carry where, around with you. Um, they're just really great devices. Of course, of course Joytech is the uh, inventor, creator, of these awesome devices and there are other devices similar to egos there are many um, I don't want to call them knockoffs but there are many uh, variations of the ego style um, and some of them are also pretty cool too but today we're going to be talking about how to pimp these bad boys out because there's a ton of really cool accessories uh, that you can get for your egos and I'll tell you I'm somewhat of a fanboy when it comes to gadgets and whatnot and I like to pimp out my devices I like things to look cool and I think deep down most vapors do want their stuff to look really cool which is why we invest in really neat drip tips and drip shields and why we get funky mods etc it's not just about the power and just about the vaping we also want the stuff that we own to look really cool too and to feel really good in our hands etc so egos there's a ton of awesome stuff so let's talk about some of those cool things but before we do I just wanna send a quick shout out to Vapor Geek a Canadian based vendor I got this awesome Vapor Geek shirt I love it I'm gonna wear this shirt in every video I make from now on because I am definitely a hardcore Vapor Geek at this point so I just wanted to send a shout out to that and I'll put the link in there they got some awesome swag so this is the Vapor Geek shirt alright so moving on that's my shout out uh, and yes, I did purchase the t-shirt. Uh, it wasn't given to me, so I'm only doing this because I actually really love Vapor Geek. All right, so pimping out your ego. All kinds of different device, uh, all kinds of different accessories that you can get. But first, let's talk about some of the common things um, that are not just accessories to make your ego look good, but can actually sometimes change or improve the way in which your ego vapes. Um, most commonly is the ego cone so if you have an ego chances are you've probably seen these cones uh, they come in a ton of different colors uh, different finishes etc I just have a standard black one um, they're pretty cool they finish off your ego nicely they make it look really nice so if I take for example here's my 650 when I screw this on to a 650 ma black and I put in a black cardo it looks really nice it finishes it off really well but what's interesting to note um, about these cones is that they actually change the airflow of how you vape so if you don't already know this there is definitely all these devices are made for airflow so for example Cardo's and it's gonna be really hard to see this on this camera here but there are little holes here sometimes usually two one on each side there are little holes um, that allow these to breathe there's also space inside of here okay that allows your cardos and addies to breathe too there's these little notches as well and it's this is all about airflow so that depending on how much air or how little air is coming in with your vape is going to change how hot or cold your vape is, how much vapor you get. It makes a difference for certain juices. I'm not going to get into the whole science of it. You can Google it. There's tons of great articles and stuff written in forums on it. But airflow is very important. And what's interesting about these cones, and I'm not sure if this was on purpose, if they designed these cones this way or not, but when you put the cone on here, it totally changes the airflow because it's actually blocking all those holes at the bottom. 
and I find it's actually a better vape. So here is um, so here's my 650 with a low res Bogue Cardo, okay, and a really nice Durlin drip tip, and my cone. Hmm. Hmm. Lots of vapor. It's also really good juice. This is Boston Cream Pie from uh, Gentleman's Reserve. I love this stuff. Do it again. Mm. You probably can't hear that, but it makes a very different sound. It's almost like a, a muffled sound when the cone is on. I'm going to take the cone off and put, the, put my drip tip back on. You get a totally different sound. This time, you can really hear the crackle. Okay, it's not as muffled. It's a totally different vape. It doesn't change the flavor as much as it changes the amount of vapor I find. Um, it's different for everybody, but personally, I actually like it with the cone. I find that I get more vapor, um, and I find that it's a little uh, warmer. I'm going to do it one more time just to show you. Mm. But I really, really dig it with the cone on. I just, I think it's just a totally different flavor. I also, like I said, I'm a vapor geek, and uh, the gadgets are cool, and I think it looks really hot with this on. Totally different. Totally different. Anyways, try it for yourself. Maybe I'm crazy. But um, personally, that's my tip with these cones is it actually changes the airflow and I really dig it. So that's one accessory. Another accessory which I really like are these shorty cones. Okay, these are the shorty cones. And um, basically what they do is they cover up this the silver part here between the Addy or Cardo or whatever and your battery so that when you're using tanks, usually works better with the smaller tanks, but I'm going to show you with my uh, 6 mil DCT, but it usually works better with the narrower tanks. So what happens is when you put the shorty cone on, and you can do this with Addies too, if you're using drip shields and whatnot, it gives it a more refined and smoother look. So it kind of makes it look all like one piece right it does not change the vape really a whole lot because there still is a bit of a gap in there so you're for the most part getting the same airflow mm. that's apple pie from uh actually that's from gentleman's reserve as well not doing a juice review here just happens to be the two juices that were in those particular devices i'm gonna give you one more toot here to show you So that's the shorty cone. Very cool. Now, the next device or accessory I have here to pimp out your ego, I really love this, especially on my stainless steel bat. So going to the stainless steel bat, we have these DCT cones. These are gorgeous. This is a stainless steel, all right, DCT cone. Really nice. And same basic premise. You screw it on so that it covers up that area, okay? You'll notice that there are two notches on each side, again, for airflow. Also, good though, I think, you know, for dripping, if juice leaks, it kind of falls into there a little bit sometimes. Anyways, we screw this on, and it gives it also, look, a really nice look. It finishes it off, I think, very nicely. Beautiful, pimped out ego, do this again. Mm. Awesome stuff. So those are the DCT cones. I really dig those DCT cones. Um, what's cool is if you're using things like um, Stardusts or Vision e clear margers, etc., they kind of have that built in, right? So the bottom there is essentially a shorty cone so that when you screw something like that on here, right, it's like a shorty cone. It's covering that up. By the way, um, Sort of a side note, uh, even though this is an Ego device, uh, you can actually now get drip tips 
for your stardust. So there are drip tips that, you, that they push and screw on like this drip tip does so you can get them different colors, shapes, etc. All right, so a few other things, a few other cool uh, accessories. I don't own them all yet. Yes, I know, Vapor Geek, I said I had it all. But I don't have them all yet because some of them I don't have a use for. But uh, I'm gonna, i got to show you some pictures. So the first one is... Oh, picture's going to be over here. Nope, sorry, picture's going to be right there. <laughs> and that is the lanyard, the Joytech lanyard. Very cool. So basically, it just goes around this center area here, doesn't cover the button, and it lets you wear it around your neck. There is also these, uh, why am I having issues today pointing? There's also these le leather lanyards, which are also pretty slick too. So you just like a pouch, sticks it in, hangs around your neck. Also a very cool thing. And then we have... Um, button protectors. So these button protectors are cool too. They snap on here and they cover the button so that when this is in your pocket or if it's inside of a case or something like that, the button can't get pressed. Um, it's actually one of, the, in my opinion, even though a lot of the Ego batteries, you can turn them off, uh, click it five times, it will turn off. They don't all do that. Some of my batteries don't have cutoffs and don't turn off when I click and they don't have that feature built into it. So the buttons uh, can get pressed and it has happened to me before where the buttons have been pressed uh, in my case or in my pocket. And of course, there is always the cases, right? Ego carrying case. I love these. Come in large, they come in small. Um, they fit everything, batteries, chargers, juice, uh, whatever accessories, other accessories that you need to dump in there, uh, cardos, uh, your stardusts, your drip tips, whatever. It all fits in there, uh, and they also come in a ton of different colors. So that's it, pimping out your ego. Um, the last thing, too, in terms of really pimping out your ego, and this is something I've got uh, coming in my vape mail, and I'm super stoked to get one, are the new laser-etched ego bats from Smoke Tech. These things are awesome. Boop, picture. I also wrote a quick review about it on my uh, blog, so you can check that out as well. But these are definitely pimping out your ego to the max. So there's the weekend tip in some ways, the tip being how to use a cone to change airflow to get different vapes. So that's the part of this video that's the weekend tip. And the rest of this is about pimping out your ego from the Vapor Geek. <laughs> well, Digibomb, as you all know me. So make sure you follow me on Twitter, at Digibomb. Uh, check out the website, bigvapors.wordpress.com. I'll see you on the flip side, and I'll leave you with some of this. Um, this is actually peppermint. Love this. Peppermint from Vaporium. Mm, 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 mm. Keep on vaping, and keep on pimping your egos. All right, y'all ready for this, man? What a da da